Robot vacuums and mops have become extremely popular in the past few years. Today we are looking at a robot mop by iLife, specifically the ShineBot W450. This product retails for $349 and is a unique mopping robot compared to the other ones on the market. So let's get started with what's in the box. It comes with the robot itself, a cleaning solution, a remote control with batteries, the charging base, a cleaning tool for the brush, and some paperwork. Now let's talk about the design. On the outside, it has a handle that makes it easy to lift to the cleaning spot or to put it on the charger. Also, there are two buttons, the mode button and the clean button. The mode button lets you choose between four different modes, path cleaning, spot cleaning, area cleaning, and edge cleaning. Path cleaning is meant for cleaning the whole room, such as the kitchen or the living room. Spot mode is meant for a dirty spot on your floor, such as an accidental spill. Area mode is like path mode but for smaller rooms, and edge mode is for against the walls. The clean button is pretty easy to understand. You hold it to turn the robot on, click it once to start the cleaning session, and hold it again to turn the robot off. The robot is constructed of two different pieces, the robot itself with all the brains in it, and the cleaning tank which consists of the clean water tank and the dirty water tank. Impressively, the clean water tank is pretty big, which means it probably won't run out of water when using it. These two separate pieces come together when you're ready to use the robot. The robot is pretty tall compared to other mops. At 4.5 inches tall, it may have trouble going under low furniture or low cabinetry. For me though, it turned out to be perfectly fine, so if you care about that type of thing, measure before you purchase. Unlike most other mopping robots, such as the Brava that just sprays water and drags the pad around the floor, the ShineBot is totally different. What's unique about this robot is the cleaning system. It has a unique clean dirty water separation design. So the way it works is it puts down clean water, then it sucks out the dirty water into the dirty water tank. At the same time, the robot is cleaning the floors thoroughly by scraping and scrubbing the floors, allowing all the dirty water to be vacuumed up. This lets the floors dry rather quickly in my experience. The robot also comes with a hard floor cleaning solution, which is supposed to polish the floors. Getting the robot ready for use is pretty simple. First, you remove the water tank piece from the robot. Then you fill the clean water tank and snap it back on. It's also important to make sure that the brush is installed correctly. It's not ready to use. Now let's do a cleaning test on this wood floor. As you can see, this wood floor has an accumulation of dirt. We're going to test the robot on this flooring first and we are going to see how it performs. After the test, I'm pretty satisfied. The dirt marks are gone and the floor looks pretty good. Let's move on to the next test. Now let's try it on this kitchen tile floor. This time, the floor has an accumulation of dirt and overall, it's not really clean. After trying it on the wood floor, let's see how it performs on the kitchen floor. On the kitchen tile, the floor actually looks pretty great. Now let's talk about maintenance. This is probably my least favorite part of the robot. The robot does require a good amount of maintenance after running the robot. While this maintenance is probably easier than actually mopping the floors yourself, it's still something that you have to do which means the robot is not fully autonomous and hands off. So after running the robot, I had to empty the dirty water and clean the dirty water tank. I do want to mention that the dirty water was extremely dark which makes me confident that it's doing a pretty good job. I'm extremely impressed by how much brown water it was able to collect. For maintenance, you also have to wipe off the scraper and wipe off some other places in the water tank piece of the robot. Probably the biggest part of maintaining the robot is the brush roll. To clean the brush roll, it comes with a cleaning tool. I clean the brush by running the tool through the roll brusher for a couple of minutes. After that, all the hair that was tangled got pushed to the side and I could easily remove it. After I did that, I ran the brush roll underwater and let it air dry. Then I put the two robot pieces together and took it to its charging cradle. 
which takes us to the next topic, charging the robot. Charging the robot is another manual step. Unlike some other robot mobs, the iLife W450 requires you to manually pick it up and rest it on its charger. This isn't a deal breaker for me personally, but it would be nice if it could go back on its own. It already does require a bit more maintenance than other robot mobs, so this would be a nice addition. In terms of the battery life, the battery should last around 130 minutes, which seems pretty good to me. This robot also has a camera for navigation, so the robot is aware of its surroundings and methodically cleans the floors. It goes in a straight line, hits a wall, then rotates 90 degrees and continues on its path. You can make it repeat the same areas up to 3 times or not at all. Due to the camera sensor, the robot is also able to make a map of the floor it's cleaning. Unfortunately, the robot only remembers the map until the next cleaning session. I do wish that it could make a map of your entire home so that you could tell it to clean a specific area on the app, so hopefully we can see that in a future version. The current map is more useful to see where has already been cleaned in that specific session. So pretty much, the way the map works is it mops your floor in the kitchen, for example, then it creates a map. Once that session is done, the map of your kitchen stays in the app. You can then use that map to tell it to clean a certain part. However, if you decide to use the robot in another room next time, that map is pretty much useless. Otherwise, the map is only useful for that specific session. After that, you can use the same map if you decide to use the robot in the same area. This robot also comes with a separate remote. This remote has some of the same functions as the app, which you'll get into soon. The remote also allows you to fully take control of the robot so you can use it like an RC car to clean your floors. In the middle of those buttons is the path mode. This is probably the most common function you will use. Then we have all the same modes that I described earlier. We also have the water consumption level, which allows you to toggle between low, medium, and high water consumption. One of my favorite extra features with this robot is the Wi-Fi and app compatibility. The robot can connect to the iLife app, and that allows for better ease of use and customizability. Even though it connects to Wi-Fi, it unfortunately is not compatible with Alexa or Google Assistant. This may be because you do need to fill it with water, so the smart assistant integration maybe wouldn't be that useful, but it would be nice to have especially since it has Wi-Fi built in. The app is pretty great. It allows you to do lots of things, such as start a cleaning session, choose a mode such as spot or path, tell the robot how many times to go over the same areas, and how many times to dry it. After starting the session, you can cancel the cleaning session or pause it to resume it later. I really like the pause feature because sometimes I don't want to cancel it entirely, but rather I just want it to stop for a few minutes to answer a call or something similar. The app also has a remote similar to the physical one, which allows you to control the robot yourself. The app also allows for lots of customizability some of which I've really never seen on any cleaning robot. These customizability features are water usage, travel speed, and brush speed. Personally, I put water usage on 100% so that the floors are cleaner, travel speed on 1% for the deepest clean, and the brush speed on 100% for the best cleaning performance. Lastly, but definitely not least, the robot is compatible with pretty much most hard floors, such as tile, marble, hardwood, and laminate. It is important to note that this robot is not compatible with flooring large gaps and uneven flooring, so make sure that it's not the case when purchasing this robot. There are some other things to be aware of before purchasing this robot. First of all, the robot cannot climb any clearances. This can be a good thing and a bad thing depending on the way you look at it. On the right side, it means the robot won't go on rugs or carpet which is pretty important to me, so I do like that feature. The part that depends on your usage is whether you want the robot to stay in a room or not. For example, if your kitchen and living room have different flooring with a floor divider trim, that would probably mean your kitchen floor is slightly lower. That means if you place the robot in the kitchen, the robot cannot move on to clean your living room. I also noticed that the robot just stops at the edge of my rug overhang and says clean the cliff sensor. However, I can just move it with my foot and it will continue. So I'm not really sure why it needs to stop and it makes the robot cumbersome to use in places where I have this type of rug. So overall, I'm satisfied with this product. After having experience with the Bravo Jet 240, I can confirm that this does clean the floors better and more thoroughly. My favorite parts of this robot are the panel view navigation, the cleaning performance, the Wi-Fi connectivity, the app controls, the remote, and the separate clean and dirty water tanks. It's also pretty quiet, but not as quiet as the Bravo, but quiet enough to watch TV or talk to someone.
My biggest issue with the robot is the amount of maintenance it requires. Some other areas of improvement would be Alexa and Google Assistant integration, and for it to go back to its charging cradle automatically. The floor plan feature is also pretty useless to me. But if you are aware of these shortcomings, I think this is a fine and well-designed robot floor washer. The cleaning performance is pretty good due to its water tank cleaning system. The link to purchase is in the description. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.